What's up, everybody? Ebert42 here, back with some more Madden 15 action for everybody. As usual, handing out those tips on how to make the coins without spending those hard-earned dollars, rocking the 95 overall team no money spent, getting into some head-to-head -head games for you guys. Love when the phone rings right when you start your sh your show. Have to get back to them later. What up, Bulls boy? Yeah, we'll be doing some coin making tips as usual. The sh uh, Thursday night show, we'll be doing 15, 20 minutes of some coin making tips with some announcements, and then getting into some head to head action after that. Big thanks everybody for stopping by tonight. If you're checking me out on YouTube and you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button in the bottom left so you know when I'm coming out with new content. Also, I'm doing a 10K giveaway on YouTube. So make sure you go check out the Sunday Night Mutt 5 video I have on YouTube. Follow the instructions there, like the video, uh, make a comment that says 10K giveaway and subscribe to the channel. You'll get entered for that. I'll be doing the drawing for that on Sunday. So you guys have three more days to get entered into that, and I'll be drawing Sunday at 9 o'clock at the start of my Sunday stream for that giveaway. So far, we only have two people entered, um, so there's some good opportunities for you guys there. Also, tonight, uh, for everybody catching me live on Twitch, We'll be doing a giveaway for if we can get 25 viewers in here. Um, so if you're watching on Twitch, first time checking me out, hit the follow button in the bottom left to know when I'm coming out with some more tips on how to make coins. Yeah, Bulls Boy, go check out my YouTube video. Uh, I got a whole uh, series of coin making tip videos. Um, for tonight, quick tips. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, how to identify what areas to look to flip coins in. And in the last week or so, I've probably made 200, 250,000 coins somewhere in that area, flipping these guys out of the all rookie set. So there's your quick tip for you. Since you have to hit the road, appreciate you stopping by. I uh, did a video on how to set up your auctions for these guys but again just run in here search for price and high price L we're looking for guys with big differences buy now price of 7k bidding of 5.2 um, you could maybe do that you can make a little bit of coins off that but not enough for me to be interested in here's a good one so I'll just run through all these guys making these bids, checking them all out. Uh, I talked about doing the Ultimate Legend players the same way. <clears throat> you can pick these guys up for surprisingly cheap sometimes doing this. We're just gonna, you know, continue to go through here and do this through all these guys. This guy sells for like 11k bid on this one. We'll even bid on this one. And so on, on down through the entire collection. You should get quite a few bids set up for yourself. Uh, I've still been flipping the Combine Warrior collectibles. I'm doing all right there. Not as easy as when the first couple were out. I've been having some decent success flipping some of the collectibles for the ultimate team. Again, you just go in here, run through all of these guys. We're doing the same thing, looking at buy now prices and current prices. When I do this, I normally have my laptop sitting next to me. And then I can look these players up on Mutthead as well. I've talked to you guys a lot about using Mutthead. Um, so I'll go into players. And I have one tab open that's just the all rookie team players. And I have another tab open that is sorted by um, 
program Ultimate Legends, and then I filter by position for that to see where these collectible pieces are at for price. But you get the idea, you run through these, you run through those, there's some other areas in here. You can possibly make coins flipping players out of these positional hero sets. Uh, I know when I was completing the cornerback set, a lot of these cornerbacks that were going for like 10k or 20k, I picked up for half price. Had I chosen to, I could have flipped some of these guys and made some coins off of them. And then once you've gone through and done all those setups, you just head on over to your my bids, and you hang out in here, maybe watch some TV, whatever, snap in your Twitch app and check out your favorite streamer, and do your bidding. When it's slow, I might go run a solo, or I'll come in here and look for some badges that are going for cheap. This one's going for 3k, we can pick that up. Gold badges are real cheap now, I've talked to you guys a lot about gold badges. Uh, we were down to like 5k yesterday, the new Combine Warrior will be coming out tomorrow. So that's going to be a big demand for these gold badges, those uh, final editions that came out today, I believe, are going to also create some demand for those. So I'm buying anything I can around the 4.5 or cheaper price range. I'm actually holding on to like 11 of these at the current moment, just sitting on them. They'll be back up again. They should hit 7k easy, uh, if not up to 8 or 9k again before the next... Oh, game changer packs come out. Yeah, that's what drove the price down on them. So if we look at what's going on right now, we got a veteran pack bundle. You get an M25 throwback player. So there might be some opportunities to invest in some of those M25 throwback players. Their prices are probably down now compared to what they have been. I would wait until maybe there's less than a day left in this promo before I look at investing into any of those guys. But it's an area for you guys to go check out. So I said we were going to uh, kind of get into what I look for um, to make my coins. Because a lot of times I'll talk to you guys on Thursdays, and I'll tell you, hey, I made all these coins this week. Uh, and by Thursday, I've already been doing it for a couple days. So one of the big things I'm looking for when I want to know, you know, where should I go to, to make these coins at is pretty much it's just what's the most in demand right now. You know, when this 99 Pat P came out, everybody wanted them. All of these cards shot up. People were still posting them for low because they didn't know they'd shot up. There's some good opportunities in the new positional heroes. Now, people aren't that excited about Le'Veon Bell, so I haven't dove into this set to do any uh, flipping. I heard that the all-rookie team set had come out last weekend, and so the day this set came out, I went and found it, and I hopped in here. And I probably made 100k that day, just flipping these guys. I mean, some of these guys go for a lot of coins. Uh, some of the wide receivers, I made a good hunk off. Pokemon Master 62, I'm doing a 10k giveaway on YouTube. If you go check out my YouTube page, uh, check out the coin, uh, the Sunday Night Mutt 5 video. Uh, follow the directions there, and uh, you can get yourself entered in a 10k Xbox One coin giveaway. Sold a couple of these Jernigans for a profit. This guy is posted for 350. They're going for 20k. Made some money off of quite a few of these guys, actually. The Stork, Borland, Matthews, Teddy Bridgewater, the safeties, the cornerbacks. A lot of those guys are going for a decent amount of coins. So decent guys to get in here, make some bids on. Like I said, I'll, I'll look at what the current buy now prices are at 
and then I'll go look at what, what they're doing on Mutthead, and the, I'm trying to not pay more than 80% of what the Mutthead average price is. Because they're going to take 10% and you want to make at least 10%. So sometimes you'll hit some home runs, you'll score some cards for half price and be able to make some nice big flips off those. Uh, but this all-rookie team, been in here a lot, uh, flipping players over the last week. It allowed me to pick up the Sherman and the Elite badges that I needed for this 99 Pat Pete set. Still be sitting at 600,000 coins. I'll be doing the drawing for that 10k giveaway on Sunday, Pokemon Master. So, you got three days to get entered in that. Uh, I have a whole series of coin making videos on there too. Feel free to check those out. If you like them, make sure you do give them a like. But yeah, I watch Mutthead, I watch for new sets that are coming out, um, new final edition players. You can even, this T.Y. Hilton was pretty popular. I know a lot of people were in here. I, I think I flipped a lot, Lamar Miller to Lamar. See, here's a, that's a lot of these guys going for cheap. So there's, there's, op there's opportunities all over the place in the auction house to make some flips. Uh, a lot of times I will find them by actually going into these sets and looking at the pieces. Being being in a set automatically creates demand for a card. So you know these cards are going to be not only getting bought to be put on rosters, but some people are just going to be picking them up to complete these sets. That actually might be a decent snipe on that. Reese even. That'd be one where I'd have to go check Mutthead quick to make sure that I'm not uh, getting baited into bidding on things. Sometimes you'll go check a card out and everything's posted at 50k and then there's a there's a bid for 20k. But you go look at it on Mutthead and the card actually only sells for 20k. So you don't want to just automatically bid on things that you don't you know you don't have the knowledge about. So make sure that you utilize Mutthead and some external sites to know who is selling for what. I think that maybe you could make some coins flipping some of the guys in here. But yeah, just keep an eye out for uh, kind of what some of the hot sets are that people are trying to finish um, that are coming up with cool rewards. I actually thought about trying to complete this set for cheap and then flipping the Charles Woodson. The set is repeatable, so you could theoretically do that a couple times. I've been having plenty of success just flipping the players. So I've been happy doing that. Just gonna finish up the coin tips for you guys for this week. Again, go check out the rest of my videos in my coin making tips playlist. Uh, I think we're up to seven videos now. Um, appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, all the likes, all the comments, all the follows uh, means a lot. I want to say thanks for all that. Um, we're going to get into some head-to-head -head action here if you're checking out the Thursday Night Mutt on YouTube or Twitch. But if you're checking out the coin video, uh, I want to say thanks for stopping by. And we'll catch you on Monday with our next coin making tip session. For everybody else, Run through the squad quick here for you. Again, Ebert42 rocking that 95 overall team, no money spent. Handing out the tips on how to make the coins without spending those hard earned dollars. Rocking the Lynch McFadden combo. Uh, we tried out the Poe for a couple games. I mean, he wasn't spectacular, he wasn't horrible. Uh, we've talked a lot about how we like the play recognition with the guys that we have on our line. We've added this 99 Pat Pete. Looking at shuffling up at cornerback a little bit. Trying to find a 97 D Hall for 200k or less. Go check out the auction house for him quick. Saw one for 202, yes, uh, two days ago. Almost pulled the trigger. 
Now I haven't seen them for under 212. Kind of wishing I had. Mudhead's telling me they're selling for 180. Just don't know what I need to get online to find them. Uh, for those that are wondering, I do a lot of my bidding late at night between between the hours of oh, 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. Central Time. 210209. Wonder if that guy is online. A lot of times I'll send people messages and ask them if they're willing to sell their players for cheaper than what they have them listed for. What up, crazy backhander? How's your night going, man? Just ended the uh, coin-making tips for the night. Be getting into some head-to-head -head action shortly here. Yeah, if we can get up to 25 viewers live tonight, I'll be giving away the 90 uh, final edition Leon Hall cornerback. He's selling for about 20k right now. Uh, so stick around. You can also go check out my YouTube channel. Doing some, doing a 10k giveaway for my YouTube subs for hitting 10 subs on YouTube. Show you guys the current season doing pretty well this season uh, we we're 71 and 38 overall we had two field goals in our last game otherwise we would have put up 77 points crushed those games we played last night got a quit at halftime on the other one Yeah, crazy backhander. I ended up starting late this week. Normally, uh, I've been hovering around 10 to 15 viewers live for my shows, but it started a half hour late, so I think some people thought I wasn't streaming tonight. Again, for everyone checking out the videos, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at ebert underscore 42. I tweet out uh, when I'm going live. I sent a tweet out today to let everyone know I was going to be a half hour late. think this froze up unfortunately uh, my YouTube is listed below uh, but it's ebert42 so you can just go to youtube.com slash ebert42 I should get you there alright guys hang tight 